China's J-20 stealth fighter slices through the sky with the confidence of a world-class weapon, but beneath its sleek surface lies a story built on shadows. This isn't just a triumph of engineering. It's a global puzzle pieced together from Cold War prototypes, leaked schematics, and stolen secrets. The Chengdu J-20 isn't entirely original, and that's exactly what makes it fascinating. From Russian jet labs to American defense servers, the jet's blueprints may have passed through more hands than history will admit. In this video, we'll reveal how China built its stealth icon, why it matters globally. At first glance, the J-20 seems like a marvel of modern Chinese innovation, a symbol of homegrown stealth technology. But the closer you look, the clearer it becomes that this jet didn't come from a vacuum. Its design shows an unmistakable fusion of international influences, starting with the long-retired Russian MiG-1.44. This prototype, revealed in the late 1990s, introduced a canard delta wing configuration and a forward-leaning stance that now defines the J-20's profile. Though the MiG-1.44 never entered production, its footprint is visible in nearly every external feature of the J-20's frame. The connection isn't just theoretical. Russian analysts have openly criticized the resemblance, with some stating that the Chinese jet appears to have directly lifted structural concepts and even propulsion elements, including the AL-31F engines, which China initially sourced from Russia in bulk. But the real intrigue begins when American designs enter the frame. The J-20's pointed nose and angular canopy echo the F-22 Raptor, while its wide, swept air intakes resemble the F-35 Lightning II's distinctive intake shape. These aren't just coincidental design overlaps. They mirror the aerodynamic and stealth principles perfected over decades by Lockheed Martin. Taken together, the jet's anatomy appears to be a curated collection of global stealth best practices. Yet what's most surprising isn't just the visual similarity. It's how swiftly and accurately China implemented these elements into an operational fighter. Stealth aviation is an art of precision, where every shape, edge, and angle must serve a specific function in evading radar and reducing drag. The fact that China arrived at a working version so quickly suggests more than inspiration. It implies technical access, a theme we'll uncover further in the next section. The J-20's uncanny resemblance to both Russian and American aircraft is no coincidence, and that becomes crystal clear when we trace the trail of cyber espionage and military intelligence leaks tied to its development. One of the most critical breakthroughs came not from a lab or wind tunnel, but from a keyboard. In a high-profile case that shook U.S. defense circles, a Chinese national named Su Bin was arrested in Canada in 2014 for orchestrating a series of cyber attacks that penetrated major American aerospace companies. For several years, Su and his associates stole over 600,000 confidential files, including internal documents, performance specifications, flight test data, and detailed blueprints for the F-22 and F-35. According to investigators, Su communicated directly with handlers in China, describing how the information would help China stand on the shoulders of giants and close the technological gap without enduring the same lengthy development cycles. Just three years after Su's arrest, China publicly declared the J-20 Combat Ready, a timeline that, when viewed in context, feels far too convenient to be unrelated. But this wasn't an isolated case of information theft. China has a well-documented record of acquiring foreign defense tech through a mix of legal licensing, backdoor deals, and outright theft. In the 1990s, China licensed the Su-27 from Russia but soon began producing unlicensed variants as the J-11 and later the J-16. When Russia refused to sell its naval Su-33 fighter, China obtained a prototype from Ukraine and reverse-engineered it into the J-15. Even the J-10, China's earlier generation fighter was heavily influenced by Israel's LAVI program, itself a derivative of the American F-16. The plane is not a single knockoff. It's the result of a global espionage campaign that harvested the very best concepts from two of the world's leading aerospace powers. And it worked. In an era where data is power and where schematics can be downloaded as easily as software, China has proven that the next arms race may not be decided in hangars, but in hacked inboxes, servers, and unsecured development pipelines.
Having emerged from a mix of espionage and engineering, the J-20 now commands attention not for how it was made, but for what it can do. This fifth-generation stealth fighter isn't just a prototype or a propaganda piece. It is a fully operational component of China's Air Force, with over 200 units reportedly in service as of 2024. Its flight capabilities are competitive on the world stage, boasting a top speed of Mach 2.0, an operational ceiling of 66,000 feet, and a combat radius that extends beyond 1,100 nautical miles. Internally, it carries long-range PL-15 missiles in its main weapons bay and short-range missiles in two side-mounted bays, allowing for both long-distance engagement and close-in dogfights without sacrificing stealth. While earlier models were limited by their Russian AL, 31F engines, newer variants are now powered by China's WS-10C and the long-awaited WS-15 engine. Capable of delivering around 44,000 pounds of thrust, is reportedly entering late-stage testing. With those upgrades, the J-20 is becoming increasingly capable of supercruise and high maneuverability, putting it closer in performance to the F-22 Raptor. The aircraft has also begun integrating thrust vectoring control, signaling a strategic shift toward air superiority missions rather than pure stealth strikes. More than that, the J-20 is just one part of a rapidly expanding ecosystem. China is pairing its fighters with advanced AWNC aircraft, long-range radar systems, and space-based surveillance to create a layered, networked approach to regional air dominance. In practical terms, this means the J-20 isn't just a standalone threat, it's a node in a broader machine designed to deny air access to rivals, especially in the South China Sea and near Taiwan. And unlike the F-22, which was capped at 187 units, China's J-20 production appears to be accelerating, unburdened by export restrictions or international transparency. That era is over. The J-20 may not outperform every Western fighter in every category, but it doesn't have to. Its mere presence shifts the balance, forcing adversaries to rethink strategies, logistics, and deterrence in the Indo-Pacific. The jet once dismissed as a knockoff has become a strategic equalizer, and possibly the blueprint for how future great powers will build weapons in the digital age. The J-20 isn't just a stealth fighter. It's a symbol of how power is evolving. Built from fragments of foreign blueprints and sharpened by stolen data, it marks the rise of a new kind of warfare where innovation and infiltration go hand in hand. It doesn't matter if it's original. It flies, it fights, and it shifts the global balance. In the sky, what matters most isn't who had the idea first, but who acted faster. The Mighty Dragon proves China's playing a different game and winning rounds not with prototypes, but with precision, persistence, and a willingness to rewrite the rules. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.